So how are you, Rituja? I am fine, sir. What about? So I'm doing great. So Rutuja, can you please quickly introduce yourself? Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rutuja Mari. I am uh, basically from Kannada, but currently staying in Pune. I have completed a bachelor degree in Rani Chandima University that specializes in computer science uh, in computer science with overall percentage 91 in the year 2023. Uh, now I also completed the MySQL Python um, Power Bear Tableau uh, course in XR Institute Pune. Um, I have uh, completed and uh, uh, my goal is uh, my goal is my goal is uh, to build a uh, build a successful career as a data analysis. Uh, I have done a three month uh, the self uh, self course CRM project in XLR Institute Pune uh, with a low rare experience. My skills are uh, data analysis approaches, communication and presentation skill. I also love the reading books and watching movie. That's all about me. Thank you, sir. Yeah, great. So, uh, uh, in that Salesforce project, uh, so what was uh, your roles and responsibilities? Uh, uh, I am, uh, I am, I am uh, in a Salesforce uh, project. I am creating the dashboard in Power BI, Excel, and Tabular. In that, I am first uh, uh, cleaning the data, uh, in a removing the null values. If any column is data type, uh, in uh, if uh, number in a date type, the number data type is there. I am changing this uh, date time, and I am first uh, calculate the KPIs, uh, total uh, total lead, uh, total accounts conversion rate, and uh, I, I am uh, creating the charts, uh, by chart, uh, uh, by bar chart, pie chart, and uh, line chart, and uh, I am uh, creating the dashboard in uh, Excel, Power BI, and um, uh, Tableau. Okay, fine. So, uh, when you say data cleaning, uh, so can you please elaborate on the same, uh, so what exactly you were doing as part of data cleaning? Uh, here, I am in a data cleaning, I am cleaning the null values in a columns, uh, in a in a columns, if there are errors, null values, I am replacing with the null values in a mean or a mode, or replacing with a zero. If uh, in a number column, if any values there, I am replacing with a zero, and uh, I am also changing the data types. Okay, so so can you please tell me what is the difference between a database and a data warehouse? The uh, data warehouse is a uh, it is used for the reporting and analysis uh, purpose. And database, I am uh, in a database uh, here. I am creating a database. It is a uh, the tools or the software. Okay. So, what are the challenges you faced when you you know connected uh, your Power BI with different data sources, or when you you know performed data cleaning? Did you face any challenges? Yes, sir. yes, sir. I am facing the challenges. I am creating the, uh, connecting the dashboard or cleaning the data. I am uh, difficult to remove the duplicates value. There are so many tables in a, a cell for the data sets. Uh, they, they are difficult to connect or uh, finding the relationship between uh, call, uh, dimensions. Uh, they are facing the challenges. Okay. Suppose uh, I'll, I'll give you a query to explain. So suppose you want to find out uh, last year sales month wise. Okay. Suppose the current year is 2024. So you have a data set where you have uh, da uh, data till uh, current year. I want you to find out last year sales month wise. So how do you write the query? I am uh, here. I am using the calculate field. The calculate the sum uh, sum of sales. And here I am uh, here I am using the uh, last uh, last month's uh, calculated field and uh, date column. No, in in uh, SQL in SQL, which concept you are going to use to find out? You know, uh, monthly sales, last year monthly sales. Calculate mm -hmm. field is there in Power BI, right? Yes, sir. I am trying to ask you. Uh, suppose you have a data set where you have you know date. I mean data till. Uh, this year okay i want you to find out let's say the data uh, is uh, like uh, current year is 2024 i want you to find out 2020 date time functions right? 
So we have another panel member. Uh, he'll be asking you for a few questions. Okay. Okay. Hey, hi, Rutuja. Hi, sir. Yeah. So, Rutuja, uh, do you have any idea about window functions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, okay, cool. So, have you uh, ever implemented window functions in your day-to-day -day work? Uh, yes, sir. I am implemented SQL query. Okay. So, tell me, can we use window functions in where clause? Uh, no, sir. Here, window function, I am using the select, uh, select star, dense rank, uh, row number. Okay. No, but let me know like uh, let me uh, what i'm asking is can we put i know that like the window functions are these so can we ex the thing i want to know is who, can we put the window functions in the where clause no sir okay so do you have any idea about magic tables Rituja? no sir no title magic Okay. Okay. No worries. So, um, what were the primary use cases? Like, what what queries you were writing? What data you were uh, you were retrieving in your day to day? Like, means uh, not understood questions. No, no. See, uh, like, what was the primary use case of SQL in your day to day work life? Here uh, in the employee table, I, I am calculate the employee's ID uh, in a specific rows or columns. We use the uh, SQL. No, uh, I yeah okay okay great to know. So um in Power BI, Rutuja, mm -hmm. so uh, could you please explain me the cardinality ratio, the three types of cardinality ratio we have. One to one, one to many, many to one. Okay, good. So, uh, tell me, where can we use the line charts, Rutuja? In a date column or uh, in a date uh, date column or a uh, date time, date column or a time, we use a line chart. Basically, to see the trends over time, we uh, use the line chart, right? Hmm. Okay. So, what is the drawback? Like, where can, where we can't use the pie chart? What is the drawback or cons of pie chart? Uh, here I'm calculating if uh, I'm calculating subcategory by the sales, we use a pie chart. No, 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 uh, like where what is the what I'm uh, what I want to ask is where we cannot use pie chart, like it will be that uh, the data will be messy, I mean, the representation will be messy. So in a date column, in a date column, we not use a pie chart. Yes, in the date column and something where like the the fields will be more like the uh, categories will uh, be more. So in that case, more, data, that case, okay. I'm not using the pie chart. If okay, a larger so, data is there uh, in a column, no, I am not using the pie chart. The small data is I am using the pie chart. Okay, okay. So uh, have you ever used bookmarks in Power BI? Yes, sir. Okay, so could you please uh, elaborate something about that? The bookmarks is a single uh, bookmarks is a single page. We can quickly, uh, in a we can quickly representing the data in a book. Okay, so um, have you used the paginated reports? No, sir. You don't have any idea about paginated reports? No, sir. Okay, no worries. So, uh, Rutuja, how good uh, are you with Python? Mm, basic, sir. Basic knowledge about Python. Basic. Okay. So, uh, can you please share your screen and write a code to reverse a string, reverse the words of a string? So, okay, let sir. me share the string. String is the sky is blue. Okay. I want you to 
it will be convenient for you if you open the notepad and type. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Otherwise, can you tell us the approach how to, yeah, if you are fine. Then. Here I'm using the command the reverse. Okay. Okay, Rituja. So, are you sure about this? It will reverse the words or it will reverse the alphabets? I am a uh, Python have basic knowledge. That's why I may no, be no, no, no worries. No worries, Rituja. So, okay. uh, have you ever used or uh, have you any idea about Lambda functions in Python? No, sir. That That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Rituja, I'm, I'm, I'm done from my side. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, over to you. Yeah. Shankar. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, Hello, sir. Yeah, Rituja. So, uh, have you used Excel? Yes, sir. Excel. Okay. So, what is the difference between count if and count ifs function? Count if. If any, it is a, in a count if we can apply the conditions, sir. Uh, and count if sir, we can apply more than one condition. In a count if we apply only one condition, sir, and count if we can apply more than condition. We can write in count if. Okay. So, what is the drawback of uh, VLOOKUP function? Mm. The VLOOKUPs, sir, we use the in a VLOOKUP, we can use if. Uh, uh, we can uh, see the column from uh, another uh, sheet or uh, another uh, table. So we use a VLOOKUP. If a large data is uh, there in a VLOOKUP, we, it is uh, difficult to write a formula in a VLOOKUP. Okay. Suppose uh, I want to find out quarterly sales. Suppose I have a data set in Excel. I want to find out quarterly sales. So how would you prepare this report? Quarterly sales. Calculate sales, sir. Uh, I mean, do you know pivot tables? Yes, sir. In pivot table, uh, how to find out quarterly sales? Suppose you have uh, sales, a thousand, uh, thousand plus, you know, orders which are placed or sales that has been there. there. Suppose yes. I, find, I have a straightforward date column. Okay. So then I want to find out in each quarter how much, uh, you know, how much sales I have done. In pivot table. Uh, yeah, in a, uh, there are the fields in a filters, rows, columns, and values. Uh, I am dragging the cells in the values uh, and uh, and uh, uh, in a data field. Uh, if we create a quarters and a drag, we can find the quarters by cells. Okay, okay. So, uh, have you ever used uh, you know mid function in Excel? Which function, sir? Mid, mid, M I D. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the use of mid function? We calculate, uh, we can uh, find the string in the middle. We use a mid function. Oh. Okay, Rutuja, that's it from my side. Okay. So, okay, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh -huh, thank you, sir.